Hey guys, we're here for Grace's seven month update. Grace is currently 16 pounds, nine ounces, and measuring about, play right here, please. Okay. And measuring about 27 and a quarter inches tall. So that puts her in about the 78th percentile for height and about the 48th percentile for weight, which is about where she has been whenever we have gone to the doctor. Are you trying to see what your sister's doing? You want to turn this way? There we go. Head-wise, I don't measure her head. She just has a small head. <laughs> whenever we've gone to the doctor, it's been about the 28th percentile. And, yeah, I, I wouldn't imagine that that's changed much. Up. What do you want? You want up? You want to see mommy? I've only tried filming this probably like 30 times. So, yeah, we're just going to try and go with it and get it done. She is... Oh my goodness. She currently has one tooth. She got that down on the bottom a couple weeks ago. And that was a nightmare. She was so miserable and uncomfortable. Yeah. She just wanted to be held and she, was, and she didn't want to sleep on her own. So yeah, that's how that went. Um, she is sitting really well by herself for a longer period of time, but she is so wiggly that she often doesn't stay in a sitting position long. Yeah. She is much more vocal now. Um, and she crawls. She can crawl all over the house. Oh, look at her go, look at her go. <laughs> Here's your ball. Oh, oh almost. Good job, Grace. Good job, sweetheart. Such a big crawler. So we really have to watch her and what Victoria is doing to make sure she's not leaving out a bunch of little pieces that Grace could get a hold of and stick in her mouth. Yeah. But they are getting to interact more because she can get down on the floor and crawl over to her sister and see what she's doing. So that is really fun. Um, toy wise, she pretty much loves anything that she can easily handle, pass back and forth, smack around, stuff that makes noises. We have this little dancing robot that we got that she loves. It plays music and it lights up and it moves around. Food wise, we have tried introducing foods and she's not too happy about that. Um, at first, a lot of the time, she was just gagging no matter what we put in her mouth, even a spoon, which is one reason why I think she's never taken to a pacifier. Also why I think she's never taken really a bottle or a cup. She will not take a bottle or a cup. Um, so yeah, we tried introducing a couple of things. We tried giving her um, avocado, bone broth, lamb bananas which I think she hated the bananas the most surprisingly um, apples she took a little bit of the apples um, she took it better than anything else <laughs> what is that face <laughs> it's like I'm feeding you liver over here it's apples. Yummy. But then, a couple of days ago, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to give her prunes. A lot of babies start with prunes. And she didn't eat a lot of it, but she kind of willingly took it. 
The only downside of that is it has made her go to the bathroom so much. It is crazy. Oh, I know. Yeah. Your blocks. So I think I'm going to try something else today. Um, I bought some squash and some pears, so we might do one of those and see how that goes. Yeah. Um, other than that, we're still breastfeeding. She feeds probably, oh, every two and a half hours, every three hours. She goes for longer periods at night unless, you know, she is like hitting a new milestone or teething or in some kind of discomfort and she wants to comfort nurse. And so I just bring her to bed with me when that happens and it's not that big of a deal. Because that way she's not waking up that one back there because if she wakes up then yeah I'm not going to sleep at all so I'd rather just bring her to bed with me. Um, other than that She's really just a happy baby, for the most part. Um, she likes to play. She likes to be held. She's generally very smiley and making noises. Very good baby. And she loves her sisters. Don't you? You want to get down and play with Victoria? Here. Oh, you, got, you got that back? That's okay. I miss, I miss Mom. That's okay. You're doing a great job. That's a great block tower. <laughs> um, one thing I've been thinking about doing, and let me know if you guys are interested. I've been thinking about doing updates for Tori because I've never done any for her. When I started YouTube, I wasn't pregnant with her. She wasn't a baby or anything. I actually just started my channel when I just found out... Um, I was pregnant with Grace, and that's when I decided to do like my pregnancy updates and things like that. So I've never done updates for Tori. So I was thinking about maybe doing like the big updates, like yearly updates or like the half year updates or something like that. I don't know. If you guys are interested in that, um, let me know, and I might film hers. It's just become so much more difficult to film here lately because things are always so hectic and I'm trying to film and get them involved more because I noticed before like I always like would film late at night after everybody was asleep but yeah that's that's kind of hard on me too so I'm just trying to figure out a balance on the best way to film when you have kids that don't necessarily nap at the same time and things like that so if you guys have any tips I would love to hear them. Let me know what they are. So, yeah, I think I pretty much hit all the big things. Um, if I left something out and you want to know, just ask. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you again next time. Bye.